All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're, we are back with another part of this Black Myth Wukong walkthrough. So, in the last part, we... Well, we did a couple things. We... Who did we all... Who all did we fight? At the very end, we got the six Buddha eyes. We found the last of them, so we can fight... I believe it's called Shin... Shende Gang? Shenji... Uh, something like that. It's a stone vanguard... Or it's a stone enemy right where we fought the stone vanguard. So we can do that. Uh, what else did we get? We went and fought the secret bosses. That's who. The other tiger vanguard and then Fubon. That's what happened. Okay, so we're actually going to, in this part, try to fight three bosses. I don't know if it's going to work. Um, this might be a longer video because I really want to get these all filmed. Get all these bosses and finish with chapter, chapter two today. So the three bosses are Mad Tiger... Uh, Shendigang, I believe is what his name is. The stone stone enemy right where the stone vanguard was. And then the yellow wind sage, which is that tornado right there. So, let's dive right into it. First off, I did a little research because the mad tiger is, is hard to find if you didn't do a little research. So, first one is we're at the windrest gates. We have to head up this way. Thank God I did some research because it, it'd be impossible to find this thing without it. <coughs> oh, when it goes green here. I'm here, little monkey. Let me hear my rattle drum. Yeah, when it goes green like that, you can use the old rattle drum that we got from the Tiger's Acolyte. See, I actually, uh, so there's the child talking that we have to, we can go meet and talk to, so it's a little creepy, but actually off camera, I went for a different build. I uh, pretty much fully maxed out a pluck of many. Are you serious right now? I'm getting stuck on this guy. I gotta lure you away. Oh, don't fall off. I just need to cross the bridge again. Get back to this shrine. There's two more locations we need to go so we can unlock the Mad Tiger. Boss. This is where we fought the Gorai Daoist, so it's not too far off location. I just didn't explore further up. So, two more locations. We'll fight the Mag Tiger, and we'll go do Shenjigang. I, I suck with names right now. So it is at Inrest Hamlet that I have to go to. All of them are previously discovered locations. You just have to play the rattle drum that we got from Tiger's Acolyte. The screen goes gray to indicate where you need to go, so that's useful at least. Really need to gather these. I know we're going to need some Tiger subduing pellets for, uh, for Yellow Wind Sage. It's going to suck if we don't have those. I'm going for a build so I can fight uh, Yellow Wind Sage as quickly as I can. Do as much damage in a short amount of time, because he's not an easy boss. Oh, where the heck am I going? Oh, in here. Okay. I think this is where we need to go. And I'm lost. I've already lost it. I thought it was right here. Well, it might be over there on this opposite side. And I lost it. Okay. We're gonna have to wander. I know it's somewhere in this area, so... We are in dire times. 
It's somewhere around here. It'll pop up eventually. Oh, come on. Where am I? Ooh, this is definitely not it. Was it across the bridge? I thought it was in the village, so I don't think it's across the bridge here. Is it further up here? It will rise again. Your meddling has death. Where the heck else could it be? The screen will go gray, so... That's not it. I am lost as crap. Nope, this ain't it. <coughs> there it is. <coughs> I knew it was somewhere around here. I'm here, little monkey. Let me hear my rattle drum. Where is my paw? Did you see it? I was scared. Are you joking right now? Around me. And I lost a pluck of many me. because of this freaking thing. That's the second of three locations we have to... So we have to get back to the shrine now. <laughs> now I have to find my way there. Where the heck was it at? Is there one up here? And of course you're an enemy. I don't even want to fight you. Don't tell me it was literally right in- I literally just took a wrong turn from the shrine. Oh my god, I did. This is the problem if you're <laughs> trying to find bosses by yourself. That's so difficult. So the last place we have to go is... Village entrance, that's it. Okay. I'm still trying to remember. I don't have any uh, thing in front of me to read off this. I'm literally just... I watched uh, a YouTube video on it myself. Because it is difficult to remember. So what we can do is cut right through the... Is it this area with the Earth Wolf? I believe so. That's over here. Yep, yep, it's in here. Here it is. Huh? How did you even know I was here? Just Pa and I know of this place. Don't tell anyone, but I have a friend in this world. He helped me with my coughing fit. It's been so long. I hope his wounds have healed too. So I know this is actually a pretty tough boss. His name is Mad Tiger. So <laughs> we're gonna see how do it, how good I do. We've switched. Uh, oh, I forgot to change ones. I was going to change spirits. I have Gorai Dawis set because I was trying him out off camera. He's what I'm going to use for the yellow and sage, but I forgot to change it. Oh, no. Rotten mutt. And he dares bear our father's title under that yellow wind, why? 
brother or not, I will have my vengeance. The kid's dad ran off, and now you've shown up to me! Okay, so I think it's, uh... Oh my lord. What in the world is this crap? And I'm already dead. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. I was not prepared for that fight. <laughs> Holy crap. I just got wrecked in three seconds. Okay, we're gonna have to try this a little different. I might have to immobilize right off the bat. Oh, okay. That is actually very useful. And there's a shrine. Nice. What is the location of this? Bottom of the well. In Sandgate Village. Okay. So. He's right there. Can I... I am not ready for this. And I'm dead. I am so dead. Yep, okay. We're gonna run that back. I got pretty good damage on him, but what I need to do a fuck of many. He charge at me, immediately immobilize, and run that back. Honestly, I should probably do Gorai Daoist first, because I think that gives a boost of damage while you're in his range. I have, I have a good setup, but I need to I need to work on this. Okay, let's run this back. And I wasted that. And I'm so dead already. <laughs> My lord. Okay, I think I need to do a pluck of many first. Distract him. Um, immobilize him. Then do Gorai Taoist. Let's run that back. <laughs> None of these are easy fights. Uh, we're down to, like, I think the toughest three fights besides the uh, first Tiger Vanguard. I think that's technically the toughest. I, I think it's tougher than the Shenji or Sen Shenda gang that I'm going to fight soon. I already lost. I did it wrong. I got I got hit before I could use immobilize, and that loses it. I think I had the right setup there, but the freaking immobilize got crushed right there. So wasted it. Let's run that back. He's not super tough. He is a tough move set. Very tough to dodge and. Uh, in very large combos, but I think I can handle it.
damage. There's just no time to... Maybe I need to try to mobilize them first. Or maybe I switch spells. Maybe I go for... Uh, instead of Gorai Taoist, I go for the Venom one. If I can get a poison attack on him, that'll help a lot. But I just don't have time. I need to... I need a lot more mana. Let us try... Somebody else besides Gorai Taoist. Let's go back to Guang Mo. I'll go ahead and rest at this shrine. We're gonna I'm gonna do my best to beat all these bosses in this part. It might be a longer form video. I'm very close to beating Mad Tiger. I think I could get him. So let's go right here. A pluck of many. end up dying right there in the end. that was tough okay so that's a spirit too so it's another one i pulled that out <laughs> freaking skin my teeth okay some mad tiger spirit i think we get a uh, gourd a new gourd out of this as well that does damage it's the main reason i wanted to go ahead and fight this guy Obviously, I want to do as many bosses as I can. I think I did everybody except for the long bosses. Yeah, Plague Bane Gourd. So I think it doesn't really heal you, but it does extra damage. So if you stack them all together, it might help a lot with my uh, with the final boss of this area. So let's get out of here. We need to go back to... Uh, what is it called here so we can go fight? Where is it? Which one is it? A 
I think it's Rock Rest Flat. I believe this is the one. Where the Stone Vanguard was, to the left of that. But put these all together, I should be able to do a lot of damage very quickly. Nope, this is the wrong one. Might as well just use it. I think it's, I guess, Rock Clash Platform then. Rock Clash Platform. That should be it then. If I put all these together, I'm going to try it out. It might take a couple tries to beat um, the final boss. Or it's probably going to take quite a few tries. But I think I can beat him. Yep, this is it. Okay. So right quick, let's look at what we have available. I also went back in... Uh, the celestial pills you can do, I put them all into mana because I realized Pluck of Many is a very good spell. And it might be very useful to have, uh, to have more availability for spells. So let's see here. We can put another, I, and I changed everything up. I pretty much put Pluck of Many <laughs> as far as I could go. I'm not high enough level to go with this one yet. And I put all the way into the Smash Stance, because it's the only one I'm good at, and the one only one I've even used in the first place. I'm probably still going to try to get the rest of these Skyfall and stuff strikes. If I can, because these are all amazing. I think that's good for now. So we're all rested up. Let's go ahead and try this boss fight. Wait, I didn't change... Oh, our gourd. We can change this. Plague Bane Gourd. Health recovery is halved, but attack is increased for a short duration after using the gourd. I can actually probably change that too for the soak. Do I have any soaks that do increase damage? Now that I think about it. What do I have? It's probably still best for this one. Yeah, I think that's still the best one. We're gonna try it out. So we have the Plague Bane Gourd. We have a bunch of all the bronze gear on that does... Deals additional damage to the enemy upon crashing their immobilization and upon crashing their immobilization... Oh god. Mobilization on the enemy massively reduces the cooldown for the immobilized spell. So I, I need to obviously get a little higher and have more perks for more mana because right now I can do a pluck of many and like one immobilize. Maybe two. But for now that's good. Let's try out this boss fight. Okay. I believe this is it. I have to deliver these. Dang. Okay, I was pronouncing that incredibly wrong. my own fault. I ran out of stamina there. I used the wrong gourd. Oh, 
I beat him on the first try. Okay. Shigen Dang. This is what I'm talking about. That freaking damage is immense. If I use them all together, use the gourd right away. That freaking damage is god tier. <laughs> it's so good. This is why you uh, do a little research. Sh Skanda of Feeling. Is there anything else to pick up in this area? God, that was sick. Okay. See, the healing... Yeah, it, it hardly does anything. <laughs> yeah, the healing sucks, but... That damage is freaking nice, though. Gotta give him that. So what is this craft? Weapon. Oh, yeah. I think we get something else from this. Oh, yeah. We get a new staff. I forgot about this. Plus 10 attack, plus 30 defense. I lose the critical hit chance. But it's still... That is amazing. Yeah, I'm gonna equip that. Eventually, I'll continue being up, being able to upgrade this, but for now, I think this is better. Oh, there is an upgrade for this as well. Moderately increases the damage executed by charge smash heavy attacks. Okay, I need to figure out how to use these well together. <laughs> I don't have any of the things to make tiger subduing pellets. Snakehead mushrooms. I don't know where to get those at. What does the store have? Ooh, I need to buy one of these, actually. I'll buy both. I still have this. I don't want to sell it just yet, just in case it's, like, super important. But now that I have that, I can go back to... The cellar of the Crouching Tiger Temple, where we discovered in the last part. Where that dude can make celestial medicines. I can get another 10 mana. For... I think it's... I had one mine core. I just bought two. It costs two to get one more mana pill. Celestial pill. So let's get that. We can have 50 mana... That's really freaking good. I might have enough to cast like a Mine couple more immobilize. See the Dell from the confines of my abode. Greeting, brave one. Ooh, I have enough for two. Okay. Should I go both of them in that? I think I do. I can use immobilize a couple times, maybe. And I can Seek remake them later. To ascend. Seek from without. We can skip through this. Unique creation. There are 20 more mana. So I think we have 60 total. Yeah, that mana is really good. Let me let's look at this. So with this much mana, I can do a fuck of many. I can do a mobilize. I don't have any targets. And since I upgraded the uh, pluck of many, I get more duplicates. Let me find an enemy here. Oh, no, that's the sand slope. I don't want to go there. Crap. Either way, okay, let's go back. Dang, that sucks. I want to do a little bit more investigating. I think we need to go just straight into... Wind rest... Wind seal gates. I believe that's the one... The big tornado, I'm pretty sure, is where... Um, Yellow Wind Sage is actually at. So if we go straight to that. Yellow wind formation, wind seal gates. I'm like, mm, well, like 75% sure I just walk down there and into the tornado. And that starts the boss fight. I could probably do a little bit of exploring, but I don't want to. I don't want to waste any mana or anything. Let's dive right in. Let's see how bad this boss fight is. How badly I get wrecked. Besides every sage, a villain resides. Beneath every mountain, an abyss lies. Where disparities persist, bloodbaths may arise. I
mean I lost that? back with a different method. Let's run that back. I can do that way better. Everything I did was wrong there. I I wanted to get down the Gorai Dawes staff. That did not work very well. Um, I need to drink from the gourd right off the bat. What else? I got to cast a pluck of many as soon as I get a chance as well, but I need to immobilize right after. Then using the wind seal formation, or the, wait, no. Whatever that banner is called there. Hmm. Let me think about how to do this here. I don't have any tigers for doing pellets. What do I have? Evil repelling, damage reduction, tonifying, and longevity. Those might help. Lost it again.
Oh my god, I was so freaking close. If I would have saved one immobilize for like... Oh, if I would have saved immobilize like maybe five seconds later, he would have been dead right now. Oh, okay, this is not that bad. This is, this is not that bad of a fight. It really isn't. I thought it was going to be way worse. But the Tiger Vanguard freaking boss was tougher than this, in my opinion. Obviously, I'm doing more damage now. It might take a couple more tries, but I think I can get this. I think I need to switch off of Gorai Daoist. I just... I mean, none of them I have... I don't really have enough time for any of them. Okay, that was just the wrong, wrong way to go about it. What else can I use? I think that's the wrong... I think Gorai Dawis is not the right thing to use there. I just don't remain in that area long enough. Is there anything with a quicker... Quicker time there? He's, he's good, but... Even Guangmo, I think, might be a little bit better if I stay out of the range. Um, then I can use a pluck of many, get them distracted. I need to rest to get Guangmo up. Probably use Guangmo right off the bat. Uh, then immobilize with a pluck of many. and die right into fighting. It's probably my best bet. I don't have any tiger subduing, so the best thing I could probably do is the tonifying to get more stamina. Those are expensive pills to make. My God. Dead. 
Yep, I'm dead. Okay. How do I fix this run? I'm trying to think about how to actually do this the correct way. I don't think even Guang Mo is the right thing. I need something that can stagger him, but I don't have Wandering White. Wandering White in Chapter 1 is a boss you should go fight before you do the third bell. Because a, a, it's pretty much a free stagger from what I've learned, and I don't have that. I could do uh, Mad Tiger. Shock Surrounding Foes. This could be a good one. Maybe do more damage. I'll, I might, I'm going to have to try both of these. Let's do Mad Tiger. Because if I can get a shock without using a mobilize. Just for a split second to get a... Um, a chance to use... Something. I can try to run that back. Give this a couple tries, and if maybe not, I'll go to Tiger's Acolyte. If a single instant into the damage, well, instance of damage, I might be able to run this a little bit better. But once again, the first thing I need to do is I need to save the Wind Talisman for a little bit into the fight before he starts using the uh, Twister mode right there. I still think I go. Luck of many right off the bat. That did not work. Okay. That is not the right one to go for. Hmm. I might just have to give this a couple tries. That that run where we were literally so close, I think that was my best opportunity and I failed it. Dodged at the wrong time. I don't think this is the right one. I really wish I could get that wandering white one, but I don't see there's any way to get it now. I would like Guangmo to work, but... It doesn't seem to work that well. Guangmo, actually, no, Gorai Dallas moderately increases maximum stamina or mana. That might, even if I don't end up staying in the the circle that he uh, spawns for extra damage, I still think it actually might be the best. Let's look at it, what he gives again. Yeah. Stay within the glow or your attack will be enhanced. Oh god, that's tough to pass up. Hmm. This might be another time where I have to literally just... Probably film off camera until I can... Um, <laughs> actually beat him on the winning run. And cut back to that, because this I think this could be a long run. I still get hit by that crap. Ooh, insta dead. Okay. God. Yeah, I think this is where we're gonna call it for now. I will be back on the correct run. I'm just gonna film until I can beat this guy. Even if I have to try to change stuff up, I'm gonna I'm gonna beat him in this part. But I will be back at that point because <laughs> it might be a little while. Any wretch 
after you! Okay, there we go. This is actually only a couple tries later. You disciple, believe it or not. Yes, story. Well, I'm spell and snatch the great sage's relic. It didn't take too long. Your master's heed. Just for a short reign over this barren valley. Sattva Lingji of New Mount Sumeru, the warden of this rat. After the great sage's passing, his six senses were scattered across the mortal realm. This thieving rat chanced upon one of them, yet hindered by his meager might, he could not absorb its power. Thus he schemed with wicked intent, a victim of his deceit. I had my head taken by him. The sense requires such a grand container to release its power. I should bear the blame for his reign of havoc upon this ridge again. <sighs> Through your valor and sagacity, order has been restored. You are the sole worthy one to keep it. Please, keep it secure in my stead.
Each of them bears a distinct root from birth, superior and inferior. None should disturb what's decided. Am I right, Sun Wukong? Well, that's chapter two done. Yellow Sand Desolate Dusk concluded. There we go. So what's chapter three called? With the wind and sand you've endured here, did you reach the Forgotten Kingdom at the end of the land? Did you find the clash of stones and the fall of Tiger's Acolyte? If you shut your ears and heed only your inner murmur, I fear the more you yearn for flawless endings, the further you'll stray from the path. Rats and cats neither grasp their destiny and yet neither admitted it. Listen closely, young one. Their complaints ride upon the wind. Got a new relic. And we leveled up. Nice. I'll take it. And that's what we got for beating oh, cold iron leaves, crafting armor. Oh, Windigate is weapons. Okay, so I want to see what this relic is. Once again, for this game, they made some freaking fantastic cinematics and everything and some artwork oh my god it looks good next chapter yeah i think i've done everything in this in this chapter besides like i said besides the black and red long that i think there is i think in chapter one and two i've beaten every boss i've even yeah red long is chapter one and black long is chapter two those are the only two i've not beaten so far but those are like supposedly even tougher than like for, for this part, I probably only five, five or six tries after I cut off did I actually beat um, Yellow Wind Sage. But Tiger Vanguard, I probably fought like 20 times after I cut off <laughs> in, the, in that recent video. So apparently Black and Red Long and all these, those secret bosses that you need the long scales for in Chapter 2 are even tougher. So I'm going to hold off on those for now. So, confirm next chapter. White snow, ice cold? Oh, please be snow biome then. Oh, I love snow.
What do we got here? Do we have to fight somebody right off the bat? Who the heck are you? That's how you have fun right there. Okay, so what the heck is going on here? This place is creepy. Looks like there's two directions to go. What is the statue, though? I guess my first instinct is to hit it. There's nothing back this way I don't see. Right? I can't get up here. I can get up here. I can't go further than that, though. Okay. As soon as we get to the first shrine, we're going to cut it for this part. Running out of time to film this night, so. I do want to explore around on the way there, though. What the heck was that? fun enemies so far. Not too difficult. You know, it's funny. Every time I get through a big boss fight, I get supremely overconfident and then I end up dying to smaller enemies. It's super bizarre. I don't know which is the, which is the correct way I'm actually supposed to go, but... Be a shrine somewhere here. Snow Hill Path. There's our first shrine. So obviously there was a back there was another area. I'm definitely gonna explore that, but all this stuff is for the next part. We're finally in a snow biome though, I love that. Gentian. Okay. Oh, new shrine design as well. I love it. I mean, no, I, I technically know it's different in Yellow Wind Ridge, but it's way newer. So we'll, let's see what we can craft real quick, and then we'll call it. So the cloud pattern stone staff moderately increases damage executed by charged smash heavy attacks. So that's pretty useful. 60-30. What's the upgrade I can get for this? 
The fourth move of light attack combo and mobile spin staff can stir up a whirlwind of sands, increases attack range and damage. 66 damage and 7% critical hit. I don't have near enough will and everything though. What is the armor upgrade or what, what can I make there? That's good, I guess. So there's no mask for this one, though. It's literally just ochre battle robe, insect spike, no, um, ochre arm guard. All this increases, oh, it's chill resistance, though. I need that. Yep. Hmm. I don't think that chill resistance is going to help all that much. I kind of want to keep on this because it's going to help a lot for bosses, especially with my pluck of many build. So for right now, I think I'm going to keep it the way it is. Okay, either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this part. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave any feedback down below. And I will see you, get, see you guys next time with some exploration of this new snow biome. What is the actual location? Snow Hill Path, Frost Clad Path? The New West. Okay, that's what it is. Okay, take care.